वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एट जीरो फाइव वन वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू मोड्स ऑफ टाइमर एंड काउंटर इन एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर इफ यू सी माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज बेस्ड ऑन टाइमर्स एंड काउंटर्स इन दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ वी कैन लोड द वैल्यू ऑफ काउंट इन साइड टाइमर्स राइट एज वेल एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू how we can configure timer and counter by using t mode and t con resistors in this video i'll explain you how we can operate with various modes of timers and counters so for that you need to see how t mode resistor is there if you see the basic format of t mode resistor in that for timer 0 and for timer 1 we have two bits those two bits will identify in which mode timer is working so obviously by two bits how many modes that we can select four modes if it is 0 0 mode 0 will be there if it is 0 1 mode 1 will be there if it is 1 0 mode 2 will be there and if it is 1 1 then mode 3 will be there so i'll explain you all these modes along with practical examples so that you'll be having fair enough idea about how exactly these modes are working with 8051 let us see all those things step by step so my dear students when we talk about timer mode 0 that is operated as per 13 bits of timer counter here my dear students you should know to select mode 0 we need to keep mode bits as 0 0 in that case it will be operating as per 13 bits of timer counter so for that first of all we will be providing clock signal as if it is internal clocks of 8051 in that case it will be working as timer in that situation my dear students this clock frequency that will be having value of oscillator frequency divided by 12 and that clock that will be given to tlx this tlx that is having 5 bits of this total timer bits and this tlx will generate another clock and that will be given to thx thx will be holding 8 bits of this timer so you see how many total bits are there 5 bits of tlx and 8 bits of thx my dear students tlx and thx means what for timer 0 this will be tl0 and th0 and for timer 1 this will be tl1 and th1 so here my dear students in total 13 bits are there here one thing that you need to carefully understand see here this clock that will be f oscillator divided by 12 now whatever this clock is given over here that will be again divided by 32 and that is given to thx why it is divided by 32 the reason is you see here we are having 5 bits so to have roll over of this tlx how many count is required 2 to the power 5 means 32 so obviously this clock that will get divided by 32 over here and that will be given to thx so after every roll over of tlx thx will increment by 1 and whenever all 13 bits are having roll over from all ones to all zeros it will be generating interrupt so for timer 0 this will be tf0 interrupt and for timer 1 this will be tf1 interrupt so once interrupt is generated 8051 will jump to the isr address and it will make this bit zero so that is how this timer zero is operating in which in total 13 bits are getting counted over here in tlx and thx here one thing is very essential my dear students frequency divided by 32 that is happening over here that we also use in serial communication we will see that later but right now consider in total 13 bits are there for count in timer mode 0 so here tlx is holding 5 bits thx is holding 8 bits in total 13 bits are there for count in mode 0 of timer with 8051 here my dear students after 32 counts tlx will get roll over and it will increment thx right here tlx will divide frequency by 32 and my dear students you should know maximum count will be how much for 13 bits it should be 2 to the power 13 means 8k how 2 to the power 13 means 2 to the power 3 into 2 to the power 10 2 to the power 10 is k and 2 to the power 3 is 8 so you can say 8k 8k means 
8192 here my dear students maximum delay will be how much maximum delay will be obviously total count over here that is 8k means 8192 into delay of 1 clock so clock is how much over here that is foc divided by 12 so delay of 1 clock will be 12 by foc so 12 by foc into 8192 that will be maximum delay so that is how timer 0 is there as per 13 bits now i'll explain you timer 1 that is of 16 bits so it is very simple you see here we are having clock that is been given to tlx that is having size of 8 bits and then once it is having rollover it will increment thx that is also having 8 bits and once complete rollover is happening it will give trigger to tfx and the interrupt will get generated so in total we are having 16 bits so whenever rollover is happening from all ones to all zero it will be generating interrupt over here for timer zero tl0 and th0 will be there and here interrupt will be tf0 for timer one tl1 and th1 will be there over here and interrupt will be tf1 here my dear students in total 16 bits are there that's why timer mode one that is referred as 16 bits of timer or counter here my dear students tlx and thx both are completely used over here with mode one so obviously maximum delay can be generated by using mode one here on each clock 16 bit will increment by one so this 16 bits that is there as per tlx and thx that will increment by one with respect to each clock which is given over here and this clock has to be f oscillator divided by 12 for timer operation remember this here my dear students tfx will get set to one whenever rollover will happen from all ones to all zeros means in hex it will be fffff to 0, 0, 0, 0. here maximum count will be how much 2 to the power 16 as per 16 bits of timer counter 2 to the power 16 means what 64k how 2 to the power 16 means 2 to the power 6 into 2 to the power 10 2 to the power 10 is k and 2 to the power 6 is 64 so 64k that is total maximum count here my dear students based on that you can say maximum delay will be how much 64k is 65536 that is 2 to the power 16 into delay of one clock that is 12 divided by foc as this clock is how much foc divided by 12 means 12 by foc that is my delay of one clock so total delay will be this now my dear students i'll explain you mode 2 timer that is 8 bits auto reload tl from th this is quite simple you don't need to worry about this it is very simple just see this here my dear students you observe here we are giving clock to tlx that is having size of 8 bits that is counting one by one once rollover is happening then it is doing two things it will be giving this interrupt over here with tf and it will be also providing signal over here for reload so reload is happening from thx so my dear students automatically reload will happen with tlx from thx along with that here when rollover happens at that time overflow will happen over here so with every clock tlx will increase and when rollover happens means when there will be ff to 0, 0 with tlx at that time it will give interrupt over here on tfx at the same time it will give signal here this signal is providing reload of thx over here with tlx so automatically reload is happening over here right so that is what timer mode 2 here you see 8 bits of count will happen with tlx with auto reload remember this so my dear students tlx will increment after every count or every clock that you can say here when tlx rollover happens from ff h to 00 h at the time two events are happening one is interrupt over here on tfx and second is auto reload from thx right auto reload of tlx from thx here maximum count will be 2 to the power 8 means 256 so obviously maximum delay with one reload that will be 256 into 
12 divided by FOC. This 12 divided by FOC that is my delay of one clock over here for timer. For counter obviously you will have to count this as per external clock. Here my dear students now let us see how mode 3 is there. So mode 3 that explains you when mode bits are 1 1 at the time mode 3 is there with 8051 and in that two 8 bits timers are there by timer 0. You see how it is happening. So one timer that is there with respect to TL0 and second timer that is there with respect to TH0. Both are taking clock signal over here as input and count will be loaded in TL0 and TH0. Both are separate timers. Right. This TL0 that will give interrupt to TF0 interrupt and TH0 that will give interrupt to TF1 over here whenever there is rollover from all 1s to all 0s means FF2 0 0 in hexadecimal. That is how we can have two separate timers using timer 0 in mode 3. Here my dear students you should note down few basic things. Here TL0 and TH0 both are used as a separate timers. TL0 will give interrupt to TF0 and TH0 that will give interrupt to TF1. TL0 can be used as a timer or counter over here and you should know TH0 that gives interrupt to TF1 and here TH0 that can be only used as a timer. So here this TL0 that we can use it as a timer or end counter but this TH0 that can be only used as a timer that is what one thing that you need to note down. So that is how all these modes are there. So I think now you are having fair enough idea about how modes are there with timer or counter with 8051. Still if any confusion is there just post that in comment box I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.